to make... Is that microphone plugged in? Yeah, it sure is. I need to make a craft packet stamper. What did I make before that? Oh, yeah. I got my block of diamond. Dun, dun, dun. I'm going to be making diamond shards for a wrath igniter so I can burn a block of iron, which I hope I have. Wrong chest. To make uh, dark iron ignots. So I can make... This one? Yes, that one. That, and get those easy. I'll be able to get that one, so... Well, I'll have two of them, because I got two off of killing some Endermans, but yeah, I need to get that spawner going. Hi, Zolf. Um, yeah, the barrel situation is getting dire downstairs. I'm not going to make any more barrels to hold 64 stacks of cobble. And I'm going to start melting the cobble. Oh, oh, I don't think I showed you guys this. I set up... That pipe off of my magma crucible. Wow. Sorry about that. That gave me a headache and made me sick. Um, to a centrifuge. And you centrifuge still lava. And it gives you... Um, one electrum, one tiny pile of tungsten, two tin, and four copper. I believe. And so we just let that run, and you know, pretty much all this is free, except it costs you uh, cobble. And I was using netherrack, but I burned through all of that, uh, so it's 100% uh, less efficient now. And it costs you power, which I've got running uh, six engines, which gives me my 30 MJs, which is going to be a little shy here, because uh, some's getting tapped over here. I'm making more and more glass. Um, yeah, even that's kind of low there. But oh well. Um, what did I say I was making? Okay, barrel upgrade. I'm getting a craft packet stamper. Uh, because you make a craft packet of... Um, oh, this is going to be easy. I'll make this on camera. You make a craft packet with the diamond block, um, four TNTs, and four something else's to make the diamond shards and then you stamp it out and you get the diamond shard crap back and you stamp it out and then it's just a diamond shard and a uh, nether brick? nether brick or nether rack you get your wrath igniter and I think it's got six or eight charges and you ignite a block of iron and you mine that and get four four, six or eight dark iron ingots so that's where we're at let's make that real quick need a pusha and pusha's easy Make those in your sleep. And I run. And wood, wood, wood. Pucha. Get out of there. And need a. Do I have a chest over here? Over here? Oh, iron chest. Chest, 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 chest. And that's it. Chest. I don't remember where that goes. That goes in... oh no, crafting table. Okay. Now I have an extra chest. Oh boy. It's gonna be one of those mornings, I guess. Uh, three iron and four cobble. That's easy enough. Iron, iron, iron. God, I don't think this needs to be powered, does it? Oh, we'll find out. Wait, take it out of the table. And, uh, I, I don't know. You know what? But placing it next to this ain't gonna hurt nothing. So we'll see what happens. We'll come back when I make the craft packet stamper, because I need, uh, gunpowder to make the TNTs, because I'm low on that. Okay, so I'm out here hunting creepers for gunpowder and any other mob just for experience so I can finish off that enderman shard to put in my spawner. I don't know if I showed you the, uh, the spawner yet. Um, just a generic build. Um, it's a square, technically a rectangle. But, uh, no, no, wrong level. Okay, here. Uh, I can't wait to start moving machines in here. I think I'm just going to start moving them in and I'll rearrange them as it happens.
Okay, 7x7 seven seven landing area, when I get the assembly table. Um, well, you saw it on the other world. I don't know if you remember. But, uh, well, just in case, it is kind of dark in here. I'll throw a torch in here for now. I don't want anything spawning. And, uh, I use the, uh, the glass viewers, even though it's got that little bit of texture on there. In this texture pack, the regular glass is completely clear with Sfax, but it has more of this uh, little etching in the glass. But this texture uh, is seamless, even in uh, vanilla texture pack. So this guy is ready to go. Um, all I gotta do is just level up that shard. I've got uh, got the soul cage here, all ready for acceptance. There's gonna be a piece of redstone there and a redstone receiver. And I'm going to have a redstone transmitter out here with the switch, if I can get outside. Uh, with the switch, and I'll flip it, and I'll watch the Endermans fall to their depths, and shut it off, and go in and collect up the Ender Pearls. For now. Uh, like I said, when I get the assembly table, then I'll uh, stagger obsidian pipes all on the ground with Autarctic circuits, and just have them suck them up and drop them into a barrel, like right here. And then Ender Pearls for days. And now it's daytime, and I don't have any mobs to hunt. But uh, what I'm hunting the gunpowder for is for that uh, Wrath Igniter, because I need some barrel upgrades. Need the barrel upgrades, and I need the XP to level that uh, Enderman shard. Oh, XP, 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 XP. Ah. See if anybody's left outside during the day. Oh, well, that's it. I was one night's hunting. And sorry if I showed you the spawner before, but. And actually, to balance this building out, let's uh, go up some. I probably will put that second floor on, just so that spawner doesn't look so obtuse. Um, I like that curve. And I'm thinking what I'm going to do is instead of having that little garden area I was talking about there, I'm going to curve the building out that way and square it off on that end. So you get that kind of S going. I like that. I like that idea a lot. Maybe have my house on that peak there overlooking. Ah, it'd be nice if that was um, east, but nope, that's east and that's where the sun comes up. Hmm. Yeah, that will be very neat. I like that idea a lot. Maybe just out to there. Cool. Uh, so what I'll probably start doing is uh, blocking off this wall to there and decide how I want. Uh, didn't realize I did this. Um, made the, uh, the curve a little odd. We've got three on that side and two on there, so the curve is a little more sharp. Uh, on this edge, and then it's uh, a more gradual turn there, and I kind of like it. Oh, I think I mentioned that before. Symmetry is sometimes not your friend, and you know what? Random in this game is hard to do, believe it or not. No, oh, you probably believe it if you played it. It's a, uh, it's really an effort to make things appear random because everything has a freaking right angle. So that's that. And uh, I'm just going to piece all this stuff together. I um, think I'm moving away from uh, LPing for showing you everything I'm doing, every machine I make, to uh, having bigger and better plans because I kind of went nuts town uh, making some of this stuff down here without including it on any any video. Uh, you know, move that stuff around a lot. You know, I gathered the nether ward. I made the, uh, oh, I just made a craft packet stamper. Um, I made that machine, that machine, that machine, that machine, the centrifuge, uh, these guys. The, uh, I made all that without even just showing it. I mean, you know, you look it up right here. Recipes right there. You don't need uh, don't need to see me placing items in a crafting grid until you get to stuff that takes like uh, 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 ti tungsten, but titanium. Showing you how to get titanium, you need centrifuge, and you need to get. Uh, the most expensive one, well, besides um, iridium, I think is uh, is chrome, and you can do that by centrifuging ruby dust, and that's that's just frappin' expensive. Nine ruby dust for uh, enough 
for a chrome, it gets you a chrome ingot and nine chrome ingots, so nine rubies pulverized and centrifuged. So that's only uh, five chrome ingots right there, one ruby short of five chrome ingots. But um, being part of this server, uh, I just donated a package, so what I did get. And uh, you know what, I don't care anymore. I'm having fun in the game and having UU matter without having a matter fabricator, I can get over it. So I got some created UU matters. I got the gold status on the server. Uh, something with TeamSpeak. I don't have TeamSpeak installed here anymore. But uh, I believe the recipe for that is that. Oh, gunpowder 15. Well, hell, that's all for gunpowder. I'll do that. What is chrome? That is clay. Can't remember what chrome is. Uh, is it this? Oh, well, I know what iridium is. That's iridium. That is silver. This is emerald. What was that? Two rubies. Hmm. I'll have to look it up. Or I can just make a whole bunch of grass, a whole bunch of stone. Yeah. A whole bunch of still water. Hmm. Um, why not? I got the stuff now. That's gunpowder, right? I can make, uh, uh, 5, 10, 15, that's 3. And I got 2 and 10. I think that's enough. I shall return. So each one of these is 9, 9 times 50. That's 450 you use. Long live uh, mine mod. Woohoo! Okay. Um, yep, I used another seven <laughs> you use for gunpowder. I'm not a scared, so I need one, two, three, four. Um, obsidians, there we go. And this will be my first time ever using a wrath or wraith igniter uh, crafting uh, table. Let's not use that one. Let's use this one. And it is a block of diamonds. Two, three, four TNTs. And one, two, three, four obsidians. Get your craft packet. And then you go to your stamper. And you stamp your craft packet. Alright. That sound I did not like. <laughs> Team diamond shards. Uh, uh, um, and it is uh, another brick. There we go. Wrath igniter. Um, while uh, while I'm figuring out where I'm gonna store this stuff, let me get. Uh, I'll make a couple rocks. Nine. 18. Good. I'll give me two blocks of iron and uh, I'll uh, throw those in there yep they're compressing and I guess I'll put the out the hell this danger zone in here thank you Jenny I, <laughs> I am living like you are danger zone and everything wrath igniter there and we're gonna do that out on an island uh, because it does spread very, very far and burns down all kinds of things. And I think I got an appropriate island out there. There we go. Block of irons. Let's go. And I want to be near water anyways because that will do a heart of damage every second to me. Um, when, I should say if and when, no, I'm pretty sure when it does uh, touch me. Uh, I had an island somewhere. Some trees on that one. Oh, all in the name of science, I guess. Yep, that's the way it's gonna go. Oh, but I don't want it to stop my turtle. Um. Oh, let's do it this way. Ugh, I don't even have enough crap in my inventory. <laughs> all right. So if it stops my turtle, it stops my turtle. Just going out of the loaded chunk area. 
da 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 da. Uh, we'll put it right here on the uh, coast. Whoops. Block of iron, rapid igniter, and get out of here. Hey, it didn't uh, set me on fire. Huh. Oh, there it goes. Guess I had to wait. Yep, I just used half the life of this thing. And looks like it's done. Nope. See? Water. That's good. Whoops. Oh, there it goes. Okay, now it's done. And what do we get? Brick of dark iron. Four dark iron ingots. So I need to do it one more time. So I can use my two barrel upgrades. I'll use one on the cobblestone. Uh, at least one on the cobblestone, because that's just running out of room. And one on the uh, sugar canes. That'll be nice. That was fun. I never did that before. Uh, let's see if that stopped my turtle, though. Oof, getting low frames. Twelve. Horrible. Oh, gotta address my little bee. She's done out of the, uh, the bath. Alright, we'll blow up one more block of irons. That's horrible. One iron block for one barrel upgrade. Right? Really? Seriously? Really? Barrel. Wow, yeah. Block of iron for one barrel upgrade. Oh well. That is a ender game item thingy. Which is fine with me. All about getting good stuff. Let's go back out to my little island, and I'm really um, curious at why. It, maybe just because I had it right here on the end. I don't know. Uh, where my other block? Here's my other block. Uh, put that. Uh, yeah. And we'll light that there, and put me on fire, and I'll get off a of fire and wait for that to ignite. La 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 Burn, burn, burn. Burn, 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 burn. Yay! Does it catch on fire? Yeah, I think so. Block of dark iron. Those have to go away, because that'll burn me. Okay, now I can mine it. Mm -hmm. Very fancy. Ta-da! Okay, good enough for two. <sighs> Let's go with these two one. Oh! That's the, uh, I was planning out the base of the, uh, ender spawner there, and that's how I'm going to arrange the uh, obsidian pipes to suck up the right. ender pearls. Because I couldn't remember, and I didn't feel like, uh, alt tabbing out and going to Excel um, to look at my blueprint, and four, I think that's just enough, and two ender pearls. Right, and two barrels. Oh, weathers. Oh, almost ready for it. <laughs> Forgot I did. Uh, I need to go round up some cows. So then I used all my wheats. Oh, I can use that. Make some fences and at least fence in a couple cows. Poop. Well, you know what a barrel upgrade does. We'll be back. Uh, I should have recorded that. I finally found a second cow on the other side of the coast. Got some XP there for some breeding. And got him all the way over here. Breeded him and killed his friend and got my one piece of leather. So now I can make my one barrel upgrade. So let's do that right now. Down. That uh, electric beam looks kind of thick. Huh. Well, as long as is this still sucking it? Come on. Um, nope. All right. The other things are doing their job then. <sighs> okay. Let that catch up. Um, barrel upgrade. No, oh, I got a piece of meat to cook too. Uh, 
dark iron, that, that, what else? A barrel. I bet you I don't have it. No, I don't have the wood for the barrel. We'll be right back. <laughs> Alright, what is this thing? You and you. And one piece of leather. And I forgot the nether balls. I'll do that again. You and you. And dark irons. And a barrel. And ender pearl. Oh, and by the way, I almost got this one more. I uh, need 17 levels to combine these two shards, and then we get the Ender Spawner. Because I just used another 15 levels to get it to that. And that will be ready to go, buddy. I could have taken that barrel right there. Hmm. There we go. A thousand stacks. Ain't gonna worry about that anymore. Okay, next step. I forget what I'm doing next. But I'll be back and we'll do it. Bye. I'm going to be commenting on, well, probably something I just made earlier in this video after I just rendered episode 9 and realizing I made so many machines without showing them on camera. And I really wouldn't mind. I just didn't want to have such a cobble of a video, but, you know, maybe every time I make a machine, I just. You know, record for a few seconds. I'll make it a patch job. I don't care. I'll put some background music to it. But uh, no, I, I really enjoy making the stuff on the camera, and I don't like that um, I made so many things without showing what I did. So I will do my best to continue. Um, well, to continue <laughs> to start showing everything I make at least, and then put that in the comments and whatnot. If you don't want to see it, don't watch it, or watch it and walk away. At least I don't get a view. That'd be nice, sweet. Okay, well, I'll be back again, uh, I think where I left off before, for the, uh, made a second ender barrel for the reeds, and started on the redesign of my base upstairs, and put in that second curve, and I'm going to fill in the walls, and I think that's what the end of this video is going to be about. I think I got eight more minutes to fill from here on, depending on what I cut out of, uh, this will be episode ten, I believe. Yeah, we'll see you Well, shortly. I have searched all my chests, and they are nowhere to be found. Um, I'm missing my, uh, my Ginzo turtles. And I think I have to remake, um, well, at least one turtle. I want to get this quarry going. I don't think I'm quite ready for a quarry. I need titanium plates. Maybe, you know, maybe that's... Gonna be a good reason to do the quarry. Um, go away. No. Uh, in that's all good. That's all good. That's all good. The driving drill. That's good. Got that. Got that. Titanium plate. Plate bending machine. Oh, titanium ingots. And you smelt. Really? Just need. Oh, uh, okay. Do need industrial blast furnace, and that should be easy enough. 1500k. And titanium dust from. What is it? 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 Oh. My tiny piles of titanium comes from. Electrolyzing bauxite. Oh, poop. Oh. I will see. I don't. That might be a recipe for the EU for that. That's what I'm gonna do. Um, I've done this all before from scratch. I have the UU available to do it now. Um, if you want me to mine all the bauxite for that, to electrolyze it to get the tiny piles, that would be uh, 12 times 48 pieces, a little less than a stack of uh, bauxite. Where is it? Right here. Oh, it's ferrous. That's bauxite. I need another 29 pieces of bauxite to make that. 
Okay, anywho, I'm going to go back upstairs and finish the building and show that off and round off this episode. And next episode is going to be made, uh, going to be building an uh, industrial blast furnace. The last server I was on, I don't know if something was broken with Greg Tech or what, but the, uh, the 500 degree upgrade for the blast furnace um, with the lava in the center worked, but the uh, cantle and cooper nickel, no, cantle and the other um, coils did not. Um, I just right clicked on the uh, was it uh, the cantle and the nichrome uh, didn't upgrade the industrial blast furnace, so I was stuck having to make the highly advanced uh, machine blocks, which stunk. But we'll see how it goes. Um, I'll make those. I think I did half and half. Um, casings. I had half standards, and no, I went with all reinforced right off the bat. Um, and then use the upgrades and actually um, with that that gets you like 2200 and with the uh, the three temperature upgrades you're over 3000 so I don't know maybe they have to be highly advanced to use the other two upgrades but I tried it in uh, creative and that didn't work either but uh, we'll see that next next episode and uh, I'll be back to show well let's go upstairs and I'll show you uh, what I have done the last time you saw it, the building was squared off. And now I've got a new idea um, of what I'm going to be doing out here. Oops. Wrong button. So, we've got a bit of a frame. Is this the way I wanted the curve? Yeah. And that will square off this end of the building. And then I think what I'm going to do, I am going to build a second floor. And... Uh, make this area a circle and just have a tower coming up the center. I don't know, is that too phallic? Maybe. Maybe maybe not. We'll see how it looks after the second level goes on because that'll end up being a very tall building. But it'll look nice. Yeah, I think I like that. I'll be back when I get some walls up. Because uh, you don't need to see me grinding block placement. Ta-ta for now. Wrong button again. Whee! I'm going to be nice and make a couple things. I brought over a couple iron furnaces and a chest for uh, Ultra Banana something. I can't remember his full username, but he was on the other night. Um, the young kid, I think he said he was 11. And uh, let's see, make him a pickaxe. I don't know if he needs a good saw, but we'll do that. We'll give him a sword. Uh, pickaxe and do 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 do. Pickaxe and an axe. So, um, sword, pickaxe, axe. And I think I left that other door open, so we'll go back out that way. What are you doing, babe? Grr. Uh, yeah, yeah. One, two, three. Yeah, it was pickaxe and a regular axe. I don't think I've ever seen anyone make a diamond sword before. I mean, a diamond uh, axe. <laughs> Use the hell out of rubies and sapphires and stuff, but I found better uses for for that. Um, pulverizing the pulverizing those, especially the rubies. You pulverize that down to get chrome dust. Somehow you get chrome from uh, rubies. Oh, yeah, to get a ruby dust and electrolyzing that. And you need the chrome for... Was it one of the machine casings? You need the chrome for a machine I didn't quite get finished. On another day and time. But uh, he set up shop over here, asked if he could build... build um, over by me, and I said, sure. Not at first, a little hesitant being on a server. Um, with people around. Uh, oh, he didn't get far that night. He must have logged shortly after uh, I left. Uh, so what, two verses, a few diamond stuff for him, and hopefully that'll get him started. Uh, he's got this too high, he's going to have some spider problems, but uh, I'll make him a set of iron armor or whatever. Hopefully he'll be on later. Okay, I shall return. <gasps> no, I'm Rukau. I'm going to lure him into my oh, pen. Oh, wow. I um, don't know if he was in there in the last time I was recording, but uh, Ender Optimus came by. I didn't even know they had um, this advanced nano. I don't know if it's part of this pack that I didn't play before, the new pack, but uh, 
who left me some things. Um, I had the chest. Did I make a chest? No, I didn't make a chest piece because he left me that, and my advanced pack covers that. Oh, there he is. He's back. Let's put this thing together. No, 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 no. That'd be nice. We got a jetpack and some armors. Right, and we are chest there. Uh, well, let's just do that. Chest, this, this. Yeah, this is very simple to make. Now, the advanced circuit is the most complicated thing. Well, besides the thing that I forgot to take off my back, and all this stuff is going to fly out. The uh, the jetpack, which you saw me make. I had a regular one once. Went in advance. Um, what the crap is that? Okay, well, I got it now. Let's make this thing get off the speaker. Nice. And it still operates the same way. Oops, make sure to hit the F button. Very cool. Alright, well, back to building my house. Let me show you where I'm at now. I can dig that. Uh, hover mood. Uh, I came down here for some stone, but let me show you that real quick since I decided to record. I uh, just got as far as uh, throwing down a floor and ran out of stone and put up the rest of this wall and threw in some windows. And I'll come back when the rest of this building looks like this building. And then gonna dig out all this underneath for a basement. That's one thing I didn't remember to do. Is this probably just gonna blow out all these walls underneath the whole base all the way down? That would be the uh, easiest thing. Yep, I guess I gotta remake turtles. They disappeared on me. I gotta at least remake one, and I'll start digging out my first basement. Okay, that just about does it. Let's throw some light on here. I know it's not dark out yet, but it will be. It happens. It happens on a regular basis, too. I don't understand. Let's throw there and there. Now, the only thing is, I don't know if, uh... I don't know about that window. I was trying something. And, uh... And those actually evened out pretty okay. I don't know. It's not, uh... That's not bad. I don't know about this. Oh, one single block there. That would mean... Um, nope, I could just move this corner. I could move that back just a little bit. And I'll make that three also. Uh, but it's got the same... Um, as the other side. It just looks odd in the mini-map. I think that'll work, and that gives me gobs of space downstairs now. Check this out. And 
Yeah, I know there's music in the background. Oh well. Oh wait, we got darkness over here. How'd that happen? I thought I put torches there. Maybe I didn't. Oh yeah, this will work. Throw some torches on the walls too. Oh wow, you can put torches on that glass. Okay, well I think that should uh, round out the episode pretty well. And next time, I forget, we're building the industrial blast furnace and starting to move stuff upstairs and going to... I'll go ahead and dig out that basement um, off camera. What I'm pretty much going to do, this stairway is going to go straight up. And then this floor is going to be solid there and that's going to be the entrance to the sub-basement. Uh, straight through there and it's going to be all underneath every single floor um, here. And I can put all the all the machines down there, get room. I eventually want to get a boiler, steam boiler. So that's about it. See you next time. Peace out.